Good afternoon students. In the previous class, we have discussed about enantiomers and diastereomers. Okay. So, today we shall discuss about Walden inversion. Alright. Now, what is Walden inversion? The phenomenon of inversion in configuration during a reaction is known as Walden inversion. Okay. Now, what do you mean by inversion in configuration? The product molecule is having okay, the structure different that of the reactant molecule okay, op or in other words opposite to that of reactant molecule okay, that is known as inversion in configuration. Right? Now, what are the factors which determine inversion? There are four factors which determine inversion. Now, which are those? The factors which determine inversion are nature of the reagent, nature of the solvent, nature of the substance being acted upon and then temperature all right so it depends upon four factors okay next slide now we shall see what is the mechanism of walden inversion okay now there are three steps okay first step is approach of the attacking group from the side of the molecule opposite to the position of the group which is replaced all right now the attacking group Okay, coming from the side or approaches the molecule okay, or that means reactant molecule opposite to the posi position of the group which is being replaced or in other words opposite to the position of the leaving group. Okay. Second point, formation of an intermediate transition state in which three groups and the asymmetric carbon atom lie in one plane. So, second step is an intermediate state is reached okay, or intermediate transition state is formed. How it forms uh, transition state? All the three groups uh, and the symmetric carbon atom lie in one plane. Okay. And third step is separation of the group being replaced. So, the group uh, or the, in other words the living group uh, is separated. Okay. So, this is known as separation of the group. So, this change is analogous to an umbrella being blown inside out. This looks like, okay, so these steps looks like as if the umbrella, okay, being blown inside out. During a heavy breeze, you might have noticed this, that umbrella is blown inside out, okay. Same thing happens in molecules also, okay. So, next slide, we can, you can see here chlorosuccinic acid. Okay. Now, what is the formula of chlorosuccinic acid? So, before that you should know what is the formula of succinic acid. All right. Now, formula of succinic acid is CH2COOH and then CH2COOH. Okay. That means, two carboxyl groups, two CH2 groups are present. All right. You can see in the st structure here, c one CH2COOH group is here. Okay. The other CH2COH group you do not find here, instead of that one hydrogen atom, one hydrogen is present, okay. one COH group is there and in the place of one more hydrogen atom, chlorine group is here, that means chlorine is atom is linked okay. and carbon atom is missing here, carbon atom is nothing but the circle, the circle is known as carbon atom. Okay. So, C, H, C, L and then COH. Okay. One group is CH to COH, another group in succinic acid is also CH to COH, okay. One hydrogen atom of, okay, one hydrogen atom of succinic acid replaced by one chlorine group, okay. And then other carboxy group remains as it is. C is written in the form of a circle like this, okay. So, this is chlorosuccinic acid and it is a dextro rotator, therefore positive. So, plus chlorosuccinic acid, okay. Now, the Incoming group, okay, incoming group is hydroxide ion. Hyd hydroxide ion is approaching chlorosuccinic acid, okay. When hydroxide ion approaches chlorosuccinic acid, you can see here transition state is being formed, okay, transition state. How it is represent transition state? CH to COH, COH, H and then Cl, okay, and then OH, OH is incoming group, okay, and all these groups lie in one plane, okay, and that is, uh, here you can see here, all the groups lie in one plane, the state is called transition state, okay, and you can see here, in between carbon atom of chlorosuccinic acid and chlorine atom, there is a 
uh, dotted line ok that means weak bond is present similarly carbon atom and hydroxyl group dotted line that means weak bond is here ok that means old bond is now trying to break because it becomes weaker ok similarly a new bond is trying to form ok it is in a position to form so it is also weak now it has not formed completely therefore it is weakly trying to form ok now the third step is what the living group living group is cl minus right chlorine atom or any other words so this is uh, this leaves from the molecule ok so you will not find in the product molecule you will not find chlorine atom or in other words chloride ion instead of that that means this bond is broken ok the c c l bond is broken this bond is broken ok and which is new bond formed this is the new bond formed c o h bond ok so you can see easily here in the product molecule c o h new bond is formed here there is no c c l bond ok and what about the c h 2 c o h groups c h 2 c o h group from this side shifted to the other side you can see here ok and hydrogen atom from the left side shifted to the right side you can see here ok and COH group from the left side shifted to right side ok this looks like umbrella blown inside out ok umbrella blown inside out alright so this is nothing but minus malic acid ok so this is the formula of malic acid malic acid formula is CH2 COH CH OH and then COH ok so chloro or in other words positive ok plus chloro succinic acid converted into minus malic acid ok so in water inversion conversion of chloro succinic acid takes place into what malic acid one is in dextro form other in levo form alright so this is an example for one Walden inversion alright so we shall move to the next slide next slide next slide is just the molecular structure ok a picture of the molecule is, has been shown you can see here OH group green colored one is OH group approaching the molecule ok and this is one the um, Cl group atom red one is Cl atom and this is the second molecule is the transition state you can see the bond have become longer long bond is always weak bond ok the COH bond is weak bond similarly this bond C Cl bond is long bond that means it is becoming weaker ok and in the product molecule you can see green atom has attached ok strongly to the carbon atom that means new bond OH group has been attached to green uh, atom is green colored is OH group ok and uh, red colored is Cl so this has left alright next slide racemization now what is racemization conversion of an ok optical active compound into racemic mixture is called racemization ok or in other words optically active compound converted into optically inactive compound what is racemic mixture it is an equimolar mixture of dextro and levo rotated compounds or in other words it is optically inactive ok so conversion of optical active compound into optical inactive compound or racemic mixture is called what racemization all right so this is done by means of heat so you can heat the mixture ok in order to make uh, racemic mixture from the optically active compound you can heat it or you can uh, keep it for light ok or by conversion of the isomer into an optically active inactive intermediate ok by which you can convert into racemic mixture all right so these are the processes either by heating or keeping in light the mixture or by converting by adding optically inactive uh, or in other words adding uh, converting into optical inactive intermediate ok example conversion of optically active lactic acid into racemic mixture is done by heating its aqueous solution ok so how it is converted optically active lactic acid by heating ok so by heating the aqueous solution so racemization proceeds through in all intermediate ok this is shown in the next slide ok now you can see here plus lactic acid what is the formula of lactic acid CH3 HOH and then COOH ok plus lactic acid so two molecules are combining ok but here two molecules are not shown only one molecule of lactic acid is shown ok actually two molecules are combining so to give enol enol also only one molecule is shown here ok unstable state what do you mean by enolic state CH remains as it is, OH remains as it is, whereas this hydrogen atom, this bond breaks, CH bond breaks. So, 
so that this double bond breaks and this H will come over here and attaches to OH group okay like this so double bond breaks CO group breaks H this bond breaks so H will come and attach here so that you will get one more additional OH group this is known as the enolic state okay now so this is unstable always therefore unstable compound always tries to become stable okay so this will split up two molecules of phenol split up to form two molecules of lactic acid okay one is plus lactic acid other one is minus lactic acid plus lactic acid H on the left OH on the right okay whereas in the minus lactic acid OH on the left H on the right rest remains same all right so next slide so they be picture of racemization given this is not required okay next slide dissolution of racemic mixture the separation of racemic mixture into its optically active isomers what are optically active isomers plus and minus isomers okay so this is known as what resolution what is resolution separation of racemic mixture into one optical active forms that is called what resolution all right now there are three types of resolution okay chemical resolution okay uh, mechanical resolution okay mechanical that is given in the next step so first we will see chemical resolution all right now in chemical resolution chemical is added okay our reactant is added okay so then we can get one the optical active forms so racemic mixture are converted to corresponding salts to get different properties by treating with optically active substances so next slide example example is given being given here okay the racemic lactic acid is allowed to combine with optically active base okay called minus trichrome so racemic lactic what is racemic lactic acid a mixture of a plus and minus lactic acid okay so that is mixed with or treated with the base which is the base minus trichrome okay that is the optical active base is added now when you add a base to acid you will get salts correct so you will get salts which are the salts formed the salts formed are minus trichrome plus lactate okay and minus trichrome minus lactate so these are the two salts formed when uh, base is added to lactic acid which is the base minus trichrome okay these salts differ considerably in solubility in various solvents so these differ in solubility okay in various solvents and therefore they can be separated by one fractional crystallization okay that's why they are separated by fractional crystallization from a suitable solvent all right then they are treated with mineral acid these salts are treated with mineral acid to remove the optically active base okay so they are treated with mineral acid so that uh, optical active bases are removed now when uh, it is treated with mineral acid two samples of lactic acid are separated that means plus lactic acid and minus lactic acid thus we can separate okay separate one the optically active okay lactic acids from the racemic mixture all right so this separation is called one chemical separation okay here flow diagram is given okay this is not required next slide next step is our next uh, process is mechanical separation okay first one is chemical separation next one is mechanical separation now in this mechanical separation okay the uh, racemic modification or racemic mixture crystallizes on to, for, to form a well defined crystal so plus and minus forms okay when you take a racemic mixture or racemic solution and then crystallize it you see you will find crystals of Uh, optically active forms that means plus and minus form separate out okay now these crystals can be separated by hand picking with the help of lens so these crystals are separated by what hand picking by using what lens okay so pasteur separated racemic sodium ammonium tartrate through hand picking so pasteur is the chemist okay who separated racemic mixture of sodium ammonium tartrate okay by what hand picking by what crystallizing so he uh, he took racemic mixture of sodium ammonium tartrate and then crystallized okay kept it for crystallization so this crystal separated so from that he could pick what separate positive and negative forms all right next slide third process is known as biochemical resolution 
okay biochemical resolution now what is biochemical resolution here in biochemical resolution okay as the name itself indicates bio bio means microorganisms are used to separate okay raised by mixture so in this method microorganisms are used to separate one raised by mixture they consume one form of the molecule and another form can be isolated now what is the essential characteristic features of microorganisms this will consume one form of molecule that means either dextrose form or liver form it will consume leaving the other form intact okay suppose it consumes positive form dextrose rotatory compound you will get in the solution only or you are left out in the solution only what liver rotator compound okay that's the meaning so they consume one form of molecule and the other form can be isolated so that you can isolate the other form all right so example is being given here for example penicillium glaucum decomposes plus tartaric acid more rapidly than the minus isomer okay so when you add penicillium glaucum okay it decomposes only one plus tartaric acid or in other words it will destroy plus tartaric acid leaving only one minus tartaric acid in the solution okay so minus tartaric acid can be obtained from the residue okay so minus tartaric acid is left over why it is on minus tartaric acid only left over because it will decompose what plus tartaric acid so what tartaric acid is decomposed so the mixture contains only one minus tartaric acid okay so by this method uh, one of the this one optical active form get destroyed okay and only one form remains all right so in tartaric acid which remains minus tartaric acid and which gets destroyed plus tartaric acid all right that is the disadvantages of this method all right so what are the disadvantages of this method one of the isomer is completely destroyed correct so in the previous example you may have seen so penicillium glaucum destroys one plus tartaric acid that means one of the isomer is completely destroyed okay the method cannot be employed if the isomers are poisonous okay if the isomer is poisonous this method cannot be uh, employed okay why it will destroy one the isomers okay both the isomers so it will, will turn one as a poisonous compound so it will destroy both okay if this method cannot be employed if the isomers are poisonous okay so if the isomers are poisonous this microorganism get destroyed okay get destroyed so i will stop at this stage okay i will stop at this stage any difficulty in following please contact me okay thank you